Hi, this is Paul Lynch from the Tech Model Channel, and uh, this is my update on my Panther. This is the fourth update, and uh, it may not seem I've progressed much, but I have actually done quite a bit. I've had other things to do at home, uh, like creating fences and things like that. Like every from everyone else that does modelling, you don't just do modelling. And so anyway, but I've got on with quite 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 nicely. I've done a lot of um, sponge technique on, on around the hatches and bare various place on the engine deck and around the, around the front and all bits and pieces to give it that chipped effect, not heavily because obviously it wouldn't have been too heavy basically where people uh, get in and out of the vehicle and use the, the hatches obviously um, also I've added some um, oil effects around the um, the actual engine deck uh, compartment where they actually opened up and do the hatches and I'll come to that in a minute and uh, so it's, I've done quite a bit in the way of weathering also when it comes to road wheels I've actually started uh, getting ready to do the road wheels because they've got to go on soon uh, but I've actually weathered underneath here as well you can't see too much of it at the moment but basically I've used oils underneath that to give it a very effect doing the old uh, pulling down effect and it's given a nice worn effect both sides uh, around it so because you're going to see that through the road wheels because there's no side skirts on this one or shits in or whatever they call it but side skirts on the armor plates on the side of this vehicle even though they've got the attachment points on it and so what we've got here basically is the big weather effect i'm going to go in with some pigments and for, i'm going to be going in with uh, different colors and i've got to mix that and uh, do it on a tray when i do that that'll be done all around the thing a little bit on the lower plate a little bit around the back on the sides and I'm definitely showing a little bit around the lower areas here a uh, bit of weathering different using different pigment uh, earth, earth compounds um with the road wheels uh, I've actually um, painted the silver effect that happens on the actual double wheels or on the inside of the running gear of a panther or, or yak panthers and what it is that this is this effect and what it is this what the guide horns as the tracks move around on the center wheels they rub up against it because moving back and forward it rubs up and creates this silver effect it's on both sides of all the wheels and I've actually turned one up the other way to prove that I've done it and um, that's on the eight center double wheels and I should have done that on the panther I did before because they do get that very it's only got to be moving for about 10 minutes and it will start ripping all, any paint off of that wheel, wheel of them wheels as well so the other wheels don't get affected by that they're just rubber on contact on it but they actually come in contact with those guide on so it will, will definitely have been an effect there now it looks shiny but obviously with a bit of fading and uh, being, but it would be shiny because if, if I've seen some photographs and you can actually see the, the definite shinish, shininess of the metal there and the metal I, uh, paint I used was actually Vallejo and it's this one and this is Vallejo 71.065 it's called steel and um, the steel of steel was really nice what I used is I used a couple of these one with a one drop of paint and the other one with the thinners in uh, the uh, Vallejo's thinners and because in the air, because I put a nut in there as well because you can hear that there's a nut in there, a, a marine class nut, it fits into there lovely, and it actually really agitates the paint and gets all that seal, um, seal effect from the bottom. Now, and I must admit, painting it on, it come really nice using the, this fine brush here that has got the cover on it at the moment. Um, really went on nice, and it was easy to do. It took a few uh, few minutes, I think about 25 minutes or 20 minutes, so to run around and then let it dry and then to the other side. But by using thinners in another one of these and tapping the brush in there and keeping it the brush the actual paint fluid, it was really nice. Nice. it went on nicely so that was that the next effect on those reels will now be that to weathering putting a little dap of uh, AK interactive so uh, enamel washes around it little touches in places and then going in with oils afterwards just to, to soften the effect um, I'm going to be doing that to all these bits and pieces I don't want it too heavy I just want a nice soft effect on that and then I've got to do the tracks obviously the tracks are actually done they've been painted I think I mentioned it before they've had their um, I uh, should have had a mini in there to show you, but basically they're ready for weathering as well. So put a bit of dust effects and mud effects in, in between the track bits. And then, then to use a bit of sandpaper because they're, they're the through tracks, just to rub slightly over the raised area where you actually get that nice shiny rubber effect, uh, contact effect that you get when it's actually on, on roads and, and where it wears. Right then, so, and also around the back. So if I can move this around, it's on my little top there. Oh, I think I should be able to swing around and not affect anything. There you go there you go there she is and you can see the the rear now I've actually done this exhaust uh, there's only two exhaust pipes here these two over either side the other the left side exhaust are actually out area out outtakes basically releasing it taking out it releasing air from the engineering compartment they were deleted in later panthers they actually modified the de engine design to allow them not to be needed so there was only one there for a short period and if you remember the this the actual um 
Panther D, the first one, never had them, but they actually found they needed to. They put them on and then they worked a way around it and got rid of them on the next, any other models after this. And that's the same for the Panther as well. They had those as well. So there you go. But anyway, for the exhaust, what did I use? I actually used um, Oily Steel uh, Vallejo uh, Model Air. And my, prob and for my problem is model colour, sorry. Uh, it's still Vallejo paint. The only problem is I can't remember the number, but I, I will um, find it later on and put it on the thing. But basically, I painted Oily Steel, these exhaust out outlets. And then I went in with uh, uh, um, AK's uh, Interactive um, very light rust and because I didn't put it on there neat it left when you brush it on 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 uh, lightly it leaves some of the steel <coughs> excuse me it leaves some of the steel actually showing and it gives that light rust effect which is really really nice and I'm really happy with that also on the engine on the Yag Panthers only uh, they've got two raised areas and these actually uh, stops for the actual back hatch as they come down they hit these two rubber stops now most people paint that to the color of the vehicle and they would be correct because the fact is most of the time I suppose they've sprayed over when they was in the workshop um, but I've seen also photographs where you can actually see that they're actually uh, they're actually rubber at color so what I've done here, I went in with my uh, Panzer colors which is the another a Vallejo colour which is uh, dark rubber of 306 and that's quite nice when I think old there there 306 a nice colour and I paint them on there and it's got that sort of worn look about it and basically it looks really nice and it gives it a little bit more distinction on the engine rear plate as well um, I also as you can see I think you can see a bit better now if I zoom in it basically loses the focus but I'm, when I do photographs of the, when I finish the vehicle you'll see what I mean also put some sponge wear effects on the rear handle with a bit of oil down inside these places here and all around like I said um, use them um, various oils on the back uh, white um, um, burnt umber and uh, the white was that too make different colors of the panels now i can see them quite distinctly they're a bit lighter on there a little bit as well all these bits in here you can see the the actual might be able to see all the actual nuts have actually got a bit of wear a bit of um um ak interactive that um enamel wash in there and what i did once i was in there and then i went straight over with a with a fit of thinners just to wipe any excess off because i only wanted it inside the recesses to to make them good also added oil to the hinges where they would do and a little bit over there as well um I'm really pleased so far you'll notice you might just be able to notice one of the hooks here is um in um red primer and the reason for that is when i was uh, doing the detail i noticed there was one missing it had been it was there and i found it and uh, i thought well it's not painted so what i'll do is um i'll put it in place and then paint it with, uh, with a model brush and bring it in to have it as just a red primer as if one's been replaced because they'd lost one and they did, I decided they replaced it i've got a feeling in, in the real uh, world they wouldn't have bothered but i decided to make it look it just adds a little bit of contrast just by looking on the engine deck um there you go come around a bit further if you notice in there i've also started do painting some of the tools i've got uh, i've used uh, one of uh, switch's favorite colors uh, tamiya uh, iron dark iron i quite like it for the shovels as well and basically this is the um this has actually been painted and there's uh that's it painted and that even even the actual um the square one i'm trying to think what we call it like a sledgehammer i presume basically it's been painted but because it's got inside the frame you can't see it but it took a little while to get in there with a very fine brush but i did good in it and it looks nice so i've got to paint the handles wood later on i must probably use a lightish wood color um to do it and they that they're coming along quite nicely and i used to also use the pencil which is on this one uh, pencil just to do some scratches in places in places because it really looks nice and it, it it adds a little bit more to the chip and then you get a scratch rather than a than a chip um looks quite nice and um, i'm quite pleased with that effect as well um what else was it oh the road wheels uh, these axles here one thing i would say to everyone is uh i'll move that a bit. there you go uh, what you will say to everyone is what i i made a mistake i made was not to actually put anything over there to stop paint getting onto the axle because it's much easier to to get the wheels on when that there's no paint there because obviously because i've built up slowly but surely with different layers of paint and oils it's built up a little bit so i will have to go in there uh, with a bit of cellulose cleaner with a brush and just just lightly take it the color off 
or you try and use the, the glue just to pull it off and then push the wheels on and I think that might do it. I'm going to give it a go. Good thing is you can see underneath where it's in, where the wheels gone right into it, it's just close anyway. So that was good. Um, yeah, that's really basically it. If I come back the other way, I think it'll be easier. There you go. So the shovel's been done as well. That's done the same way using the dark iron, and basically you use the pencil a little bit to give it a bit of bit of scratches on it, and it does it does look thick. And if you rub your finger on it as well, it smudges the uh, pencil mark uh, anyway as well. So you get that. I've got to add a bit of oil colour to the gun barrel, uh, a little a bit of um, a layer just to tone it down a little bit, but. Really, when I think about it, it's coming out quite nice. So I'll just pull the light down a little bit on this one. There you go. I think that's a bit better, actually. Um, so it, things are coming on quite nicely and are moving along sweetly, as it were. And I've just noticed when I was coming around here, there's two brackets on the back of the engine room that takes the actual cateau cable. Uh, takes both cables, one on each side. I've got them in the jar over there. Another thing that hasn't been painted, so I might have to paint them up in the, in the colours uh, by brush and, uh, and glue, it, uh, glue them in place. Uh, the reason you couldn't put them on there when you put the, the top hole on is because uh, it gets in the way of actually getting this plat back plate into in line. So, but I can put them on there now, no problem. Right then, so I'm going to call that quits on this um, update, and I will be doing another video um, shortly to do with the leopard, with a couple of bits and pieces that have turned up for that model kit ready for the September the first build with Switcher, and uh, one of the things actually came from Switcher, which um, I'm going to show you in the in the next video so and which i'll be calling it a leopard pre-build update <laughs> anyway thank you very much for watching this and uh cut the shade outside i'd quite like carl steve mottram's um uh, uh road to nowhere as i like to call it he's a uh, he's um gb build in regards to putting the uh what was it so uh, this the cave kv1 uh, on on a, a snowy long road quite a long bit of road he's got there and uh, it looks interesting and uh, I've already commented on Steve's that day anyway. So a uh, call out for Steve on that one. And uh, I'm going to do a few call outs on my next video. But I'll need to write them down because you know there's one or two people I've been communicating with as well. And I'd like to do a few call outs along with Switcher as well. Thank you very much and I'll catch you on the next one. See you later. Bye bye. Happy modelling.